the Reapers do. Time to play the Reapers do. This just came out today and so I'm really excited to give it a shot. Not exactly sure how long I'll play, but at least a little bit. For those of you who don't know, I'm a huge fan of uh, Crusader Kings. For those of you on my friends list, you can clearly see that. So the true question comes as to what time period we want to start in. Well, I've played in a lot of regions. I mean, like a lot. Of course, I did the, the Newbie Island one. I've played the Norse. I've played, you know, traditional start right here. I have not played in the Iberian Peninsula. I had a fantastic game as Abyssinia. I did the, the India thing. I haven't played Hordes, but then again, I know nothing about Hordes, so I might hold off on that. And the only Indian game I played was Venezia, Indian. The Italian, the Lombard. So, my plan in a nutshell is to just have a good time with diseases. I'll say the, the Abyssinian game I played I actually played as the Jewish uh, duke down here, the House Gideon, which should have some pretty sweet new picture. Yeah, look at that. Look at that new picture. Look at that. They look awesome. Oh, I kind of want to play as them again. But no, no, no. Come on. Stay focused. You've, you've already conquered half the world as Abyssinia. See, the reason why I liked playing as Abyssinia was that I could just like... So I, I stayed a kingdom because the empire isn't very big. So you just like nom 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 nom. And I gobbled up up to about here. And I got a border with the Byzantine Empire. So whenever I wanted to eat them, because my uh, threat level was too high, I just quickly joined them and then overthrow the Byzantine Empire. And suddenly, this is the Byzantine Empire. It's a great idea. I love playing as a vassal in this game. In fact, I probably am going to play as a vassal. So, another person I want to start at is, is a Basque. So let's see, where's the culture map? Boom. Where's the Basque? Okay, sweet. This is the Basque region. These are the, the people we can play as. So, he's not Basque. He's not Basque. None of these people are Basque. Nope. Nope. Visque, maybe? Ah, yep. Yeah. Dialva. And... Quasid. Okay, so our choices are Visque or Nagiri. It's the beauty of playing as... Yeah, Asturias here is that if we ever really want to, we can restore the um, Roman Empire, which would be fun to do in a campaign. But what I'm excited for is I've never actually played as the Icta, uh, what is it, government type. So this is all Icta, right? Yeah. I've also never played as a Muslim, so it'll be fun. Am I Sunni? Yeah, I'm Sunni. That's awesome. Okay, let's play as the Sunnis. And obviously we can go and gobble up to West Africa if we really want to. Okay, let's do it. So we're going to play as the Kassid and our sweet stash and bull haircut. That sounds like what we're gonna do. Okay, so let's let's make sure. Okay, I want only a single county count. So, yep, this is what we want to play as. Sweet, let's do it. Okay, how do I enable Iron Man mode? Iron Man? No, no Iron Man. Where's Iron Man mode? That's weird. I don't understand. Shouldn't I have the Iron Man thing? Here, we're, we're gonna actually just back out for a second. Back. Yeah, look at this. Might need a hot fix. Okay, single player. What the heck is going on? Jeez, it's just 
Weird. Okay, I guess there's no such thing as Iron Man mode anymore. How strange. We're actually going to boot this game back up, so. Because none of this is making any freaking sense. I will do some editing on this video. Also, don't expect much editing on the, the CK2 vids, because I think I'm going to just pop them out in 20 minute chunks. Because, like, a lot of CK2 is just musing and waiting on opportunities. What the heck is going on? Okay, so this one I'll just splice together. So you get this, this sweet intro. Peace. He's back. Yep, okay. So we're gonna, we're actually gonna give this one more go. Because I'm not exactly sure that it's gonna end up perfect. At least the freakish red boxes of death are gone. Boop. Okay. Where is my mustachioed hero? Ah, Musa. Okay. Again, there's no Iron Man mode, so... That sucks. Oh well, let's get started. Boom. Oh my goodness. Uh, Iron Man mode enabled. Lovely. Okay, that's different. The bubonic plague will appear at the very earliest 200 years after the game has started. It might reappear 500 years. Right. Delayed dynamic. Historical. Deadly. This is not recommended for a normal game. Okay, we'll just... I don't know. You know, we're just gonna leave these. Oh, sweet. I get to select the century when it will, when it will happen. Okay, we're gonna randomize our sunset invasion. We're gonna randomize our Mongol invasion. Try to retreat on off. That's awesome. Defensive packs on off. Wow. Okay, this is awesome. I really like this. Okay. Dynamic epidemics. And we want more or less epidemics. I feel like disease is only ever going to be a good thing. Yeah, we'll leave it. We'll leave the diseases at default. Let's see what they wanted us to feel. And I love the random invasions. Oh, that's going to be a blast. Okay. Let's get started. Let's get started. Wait, there's more. Holy Jesus Christ. Okay, sorry. Why do I have control over all this? Gender equality? Supernatural events on? Uh, dessert? Da, da, da. I don't know all of what's going on. Okay, well, this is awesome that it gives us all these different modes, but, you know, in light of the fact that I have no idea, we're going to set everything back to what it was before. There. Oh, no, that's boring. We'll randomize it. Okay, those, those are the only two things we're going to mess with. Too bad. Oh. Oh yeah, ignore these. I recently rebooted my computer for the nth time from like replacing parts in it. And so uh most of my saves are in another folder. Okay, Iron Man Nejira. Also I'm a huge fan of the after the end mod. I just love playing that one. If you don't know what it is, post apocalyptic America in uh twenty six sixty six get to play as uh awesome people. Okay. You're playing as a Basque Sunni Sheik. Everything about that's awesome. Okay. Ikta system. Must rely on land holding vassals. Okay, that sounds normal. Centralization, yeah. However, there is only one form of succession available. The chaotic open type, where the son with the most land inherits. Okay, that's awesome. No matrilineal marriages. Ikita dynasties make her decadent if the religion allows it. Can revoke duchy tier vassals without objections. Wow. That's that's awesome. Caliph can call for jihad. Sunni dynasties make her decadent. 
Okay, this is this is pretty cool. A Sunni Caliphate is held by a secular ruler and can be created or destroyed normally. Okay. Yeah. This is awesome. Close. Okay, let's get started. So as anybody who's played CK2 knows, uh, oh look, Decadic Mechanic. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, by the way, there should be a diseased flag that comes up. Well, who are we? We are not very diplomatic, but we got a good martial score. What can we do? Gruminer and other things. Okay. How young is our heir? He's zero. So we're probably not going to groom an heir for him, but we will already select Thrift as his uh, focus because curiosity is awesome. Okay. So, Musa of Niger. I wonder if full Iberian land will grow. Okay. What's our focus going to be? So now here's the thing. If we look under the Laws tab, I know we only have the Chaotic Open Succession Law, right? If that's the only one we're ever going to get, there's no reason for us to go with the Scholarship one, because the whole purpose of Scholarship is it lets us get a huge bonus in Cultural Tech. Military too, but mostly Cultural. So we can push up really quickly to right here, to Legalism Level 3, which lets us get some pretty cool laws. We're not going to do that, because, again, it doesn't matter. Also, the music might be a bit too loud. I'm not sure. First things first, ambition. Uh, acquire a title. Do we have any claims? Nope, no claims. Does our wife have any claims? No. Okay. Tie no point on council, then. Wait, do we have any... Yes, we have ten piety. So for anybody who's ever played this game, you know that... It's awesome. Oh, shut the gates. Recruit for court physician. Some cool stuff. So you can spend your piety to get two more characters in your court. And uh, this guy looks good. Oh, this guy looks very good. Also, if you're going to give people uh, titles, give it to them before you assign them to your... Uh, Various provinces. Provinces. You know what I mean. Okay, our steward's great. Collect taxes. A spy master. He's also very good, and we'll do what all the spy masters do. Let's go steal from Constantinople. I love the character models for the spies. Sweet beard on Zaire over here. Okay, apparently I cannot appoint, appoint my own court chaplain. That's odd. I guess it's a feature of, yeah, that's it. Perform charity. Hmm. I don't. Charity it is. Okay. So where are we going to expand to next? Our overlord is the king. I mean, sorry, Sultan Abd al-Rahman. So like, this is my own personal pet peeve. I hate it when people who see a name that's hard to pronounce just don't even try, because then like nobody has like any name. So I'm going to try every one of these names, regardless of if I know what to do with them or not. OK, apparently I'm heir to a mosque. It's kind of cool. Kalhora, maybe? Yeah, I am. Okay, awesome. So our overlord is this, is the king of this region. So if I click here, am I really directly under the sultan? Sultan's a king rank vassal. It's this. Okay. Numayad king. Oh, we're not part of Abbasid. Okay, sweet. So the confusion at the very beginning is almost done. So obviously we would like to expand to our du jour duchy. 
the Zord the Zord Duchy is Novara here. So, and then maybe after that we can form the really boring kingdom of Navarra. Okay, it'd be nice to be a king rank vassal. Okay. Two hundred and eighty-six troops. Four hundred troops. How much does old Aurelio have here? Aurelio has seven hundred troops. So more than me. Do I have money to buy troops? I do not. What about you? Soria. Soria is actually not much above us. Since we sent our guy to train. In fact, if we set our focus to war focus, it should give us a bigger bonus. Okay, Navarra has much more troops than we do, right? Yeah, almost twice as many. So what we could do is fabricate on Soria over here. And then we need a nice little alliance to help us out. Do you have a daughter? Nope. So our son's a lonely zero-year-old. What's his name? Motarif Muzez. Wait, why is his... But he's of the, the Kassid dynasty. Okay, apparently some people have two names. Like this guy's last name is Fortunez. And I select him, he's also of my dynasty. Okay, that, that's a thing. Okay, what about you? Declare war, conquest. Muslims can conquer single border counties of that specific reason at the cost of 50 piety. <laughs> that is the best thing ever. Oh my god. This is gonna be a fun playthrough. Okay, second thing you wanna do at the very beginning of the game search all. We're gonna go men. Not in prison, any marriage, not a ruler, my religion group, any culture, yes to adult, and they must be of a great house. Because the whole point of this is we want to find new counselors. No easiest way to find new counselors. Oh, that's cool. The other diplomatic range icon. Okay. You'll notice here that this tiny little crown, this guy's related to us. He's my uncle. Old Uncle Yaha. Or Yaya. Yaya. Says. So we want to invite people with claims. Notice we're searching all. So let's find somebody with a claim. He's also ours and ours and ours. Okay, so there's nobody to invite. If we go to any religion, we go to the top ordered list. This guy would say, oh, look at this. This is awesome. We'll just go by opinion. Maybe maybe somebody will have a, a thumbs up. God, I love stuff like this that makes this so much easier. Okay, whatever. We're not finding anybody. Ambition! Acquire title, where is it? Gain land from liege? Okay, the easiest way to do this is, is my liege over his own domain limit? He is. He's low stats, so let's take that one and immediately ask him for land. Acquire title. Decisions. Ask Leash for title. I need 60 prestige. Goodness gracious me. Some crazy stuff going on here. Okay, let's appoint our commander. Maybe this guy. Uncle Yeah is, is there too. Okay. Good enough. Success. Time to let the time tip by. I think. Yeah, our army will continue to grow in size as we wait. And it looks like our income is pretty good, so we just need to wait for money. I like playing on speed four. Tolido. Under pressure from a powerful faction, he has increased the power of the Majilis. And um, what is Majilis? Position. Also, feel free to correct my pronunciation. I don't mind. 
God damn it, Zaire. Why are you a malcontent? The Grand Vizier Tower. They're all pragmatists. I mean, that's, that's nice, but we're so weak. We need glory hounds. Also, we could go for a nice little uh, acquisition O territories to get a bit more. Revocation law, dang. Okay, because sometimes you just want to like steal your own vassal's land and say it's yours because I'm at one of four demen. Demen. Icta, burger, and tribal tax. How's my council laws? Yeah, I'm in full power. Speaking of which, we should make a law or something. Ah, uh, Nadia. Good work. Okay, so Nadia here is pregnant, and she's got great intrigue. She's a glutton and lustful, cruel woman. And she's lowborn. She's also Catholic. That's unusual. Is my, is a Mr. Catholic? No, he's Sunni. Okay. Our moral authority is great. Moral authority is, uh, is one of the most important things in the game. Head of Dynasty is me. I'm a decadent relative. Okay. Come on, Prestige, go up. Did you give away your land already? Yes, but you still need more. My son is Palaleo. Sounds awesome. War games. I feel confident I can master one. Okay, what do we got? What do we got in our land? Heavy infantry. Heavy foot is the key. Are we a heavy foot commander? Yeah, we are. Okay, so our army now is 468. So we could take out a smaller... Okay. Let's see. Mountains and forest. Okay, so he has the advantage in terrain. Yeah. Could we do that? Just immediately declare war and take some land thing? Piety. Why did we spend our piety? Actually, what about this king? Isn't this king weak? Our steward died? We have no good stewards? Sure, you can be a steward, bud. Uh, your vassal, Wale Fortun of Kalahora, is arguing with his wife. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, he owes me a favor. That's nice. Shut the gates. There's no epidemic, is there? Where's my disease? Yeah, look at that. Just camp fever and measles. The rise of the Shia. The schism at the heart of Islam dates back to the earliest days. The majority of Sunnis have long persecuted the followers of Ali, the Shias, forcing them into hiding. The partisans of Ali looked to his descendants for leadership, but they were forced to keep their ancestry secret. Now, though, the Shias are mobilizing their strength behind a boy they claim to be Ali's rightful heir and imam. Other Islamic jurists claim that the boy is clearly a fraud, but to his followers, he is the person they have been waiting for, and now they flock to his banner. Shouldn't he have, like, a character trait modifier? The schismatic must be crushed. What other diseases we got? I heard you can also scroll out to hold the entire map. Oh, that is awesome. The known world. What was I doing again? Oh yeah, collect taxes. Our army is huge, relatively huge. Eunice, you did good. 
Look at that! You probably got me more troops out of that, too. Maybe not. And we got a bonus to levy reinforcement. Okay, what would behoove us now is to invite some uh, claimants. So we want to look for title claimants. Another child. Okay, so the chaotic open type. You're still going to inherit, boy. Okay, that's good. What about your brother? You also need... Oh, I don't know what happened. Okay. We want this kingdom here. This crappy three-province kingdom. Famous writer, okay. Disrespect dynasty penalty. Now we'll go with the prestige. Okay, we have enough prestige to ask dear old uh, the sultan here for land. Maybe he'll give some to us. Please, please, please give me a title. You are the bedrock of loyalty. See, this is a polite way of saying no. Ah, there's support for my claim in the Quran. Dang it. Abdel Rahman, you cheated me. You don't even need all that land. Look at his land. Oh, I got a daughter, Aurea. Oh no. Please don't die. My first daughter. Oh, that's not a good sound. I recently have noticed the pitiful state of my wife, Nadia. Oh, she contracted the flu? Uh, that's not good. Shika Nadia. Mm, let's get somebody to cure her. I mean, sure she's Catholic, but... One of your scouts report a cunning eunuch has taken up residence in a nearby tavern. He spends his time drinking, eating, and sharing stories with guests. Apparently he's very well schooled and has vast knowledge of medical mixtures. Let's see what he got. Holy cow. Welcome aboard. Okay, we'll pray for her. I should compensate him for work well done. Yeah, dude, take some gold, man. You cured my wife. Oh, no, you not necessarily cured her. Successful treatment, health plus two. Dude, that guy's awesome. You're only 22. Come on. You stay alive. Prosperity of the county increases. I forgot about the prosperity. Maybe we should build a hospital. Heck, maybe we should build, like, everything. Okay, Navarra has gotten more powerful. He's going to be harder to take down. Surya is our next expansion point, and even that, we're behind him. Commanders, you on the other hand are an experienced technician and a great teacher. Perhaps you should train the Sultan. <sighs> Absolutely. Okay, got. We're, we're actually going to pause right here because I forgot what I can do with that. Okay, so I could get a seat on the council. Nice, but not necessarily great. If I put down fabricated claim on Visquet, I can get him to go to war for me for it. Yeah, that that, that sounds awesome. Oh, how powerful is is old Ab El Rahman here? Okay, he's pretty powerful. So if I I'm gonna change my fabrication. To this guy. 
and then we wait. As long as the Sultan doesn't die, we should be good. Sultan's 42. He also is a Sayyid, which means, or Sayyidi. He is patrilineally descended from Muhammad's uncle. Okay. Or from the sons of his daughter, Fatima. So he is... That's awesome. Muhammad is no longer my marshal. Stop dying. Yayid, commander of Nigeria. Okay, we got a new commander. Almost as good. Train troops? Absolutely. Where's my prosperity? So prosperity, new mechanic, right? Where? Is any county prospering? Let's see, maybe Venice? Is Venice prospering? Hard to tell. Ah, uh, the Basque culture. Oh no. What? Sultan, you are awesome. He just gave me the Emirate of Navarra. What? Why? Okay, pause, 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 pause. Why did he do that for me? To settle our favor? Emirate of Navarra. Look at that. I'm a duke. Or what's my new name? Emir. My Dejure territory encompasses the rest of Navarra, which means... Okay, well, I can make him press my claim right after this war. Which means that I already have a claim on Viscay, so I don't need it anymore. Why are you so unhappy? Okay. Pressing a claim on Soria. So now I have Dejure claims on here and here. And one more, I can found a kingdom soon. I'll become a king. Okay, my son's still too young to groom an heir. Oh, King of Navarra. Become a counselor. Build a war chest. Or groom an heir. Build a war chest. I need money. Okay, so now, does anybody have a daughter? Okay, you have a daughter. Arrange betrothal. Between... Me? Oh no. Wait, I can have more than one wife? Oh. I don't need more than one wife. Okay. Betrothal it is. Arrange a betrothal between your daughter, right, Yanagba Bint, and my son. Boom, betrothed. Next we want a betrothal over here. Arrange a betrothal between your daughter and my other son. Yes, okay, sweet. And this will give us non-aggression packs, so we're far less likely to get murdered. And we got ourselves a fabricated claim. He'll hate us. Furious, okay. And here's why patrols are awesome. Okay, three, two, one. You want an alliance? No, you really don't want an alliance. Form alliance? Because I'm Basque, isn't it? Why do you hate me? Foreigner, minus nine. Yep. Ain't nobody likes a Basque. Okay, so what we're gonna do to take care of this problem, number one, this could be dangerous. Okay. 
Also, if you ever want to um, reassign these guys on missions, just change their position. Now you're a marshal. Wait. Now you're a marshal. And I can reassign them without waiting. Okay, what else do I need? So in theory, I'm going to take Visquet next, right? So Altair are gone. 634. 400. How much is a Merc? Too expensive. Well, that's not great. Okay, we need money. Borrow. So we owe the Jews some money. Not a big deal. Which do we want first? Okay, we'll always have a claim them here. This one's the one that we fabricated, so it's not... Who do you got packs with? Non-aggressions, that's it. Okay. So we declare war on you. We'll claim this province. Now we're at war. Raise, raise... A nice cheap band. Boom. Merge. Do we want to lead it? No, I don't think we do. Okay, so we just banned ourselves from leading combat. We let the time tick for a few seconds. And then we march. You. Eunice. I could even lose piety. God damn it, Eunice. Okay, we've won the war. Okay, we just doubled our land. That's nice. Okay, do we need to help out in this war at all? Okay, no we don't. <laughs> He's got a huge army. Okay, so yeah, it cost us a bit of money, but... We now hold two emirates. 700, okay. And we have non-aggression packs with these other two, so we're good. They can't hurt us. In fact, they all look much more powerful than I am yet. What's the Holy War for? What does Abdel Rahman want? Holy War for Galicia. Galicia. Okay, so we won't be able to gain much benefit from that war. But we still have the thing so we could make him go to war again to take Biscay for us title loss on succession uh why <sighs> nah they don't inherit the same do they here's an idea okay just save up Did you claim a Navarra? Okay, what's the difference between these two? Okay, this one costs 50 piety, which I don't have. Did you claim I do? Okay, so Navarra, do you have any? Nope. How much is a... I'd be cutting it pretty close. I only have like a month to use them. 
We're gonna hold off. Look, we already doubled our size. It's nice being a mirror. Actually, okay, so what we just did there is we just got a bunch of money for no reason, right? That's enough for us to do our plan. But we'll wait a second. We'll let these guys educate child. like to politely decline your offer. My son is Basque and will remain Basque. I actually really like the Basque region. It's like such an interesting place. I did a lot of model UN and uh, Basque region was important to that. And they have a lot of really cool issues and honestly like wars that they fought. I do believe our recording time is up. So, that's not, oh sweet, okay, before it's up, dude built us castle walls, this is a good game, oh, but, oh, jeez, I forgot, okay, so whenever you do what I just did, which is extort subjects, you're gonna notice that, like, you got revolt risk, right? Revolt risk is really, really bad, <laughs> like, really, really bad, in fact, let's check the religious map. Boop. Okay, so we're on, we control a Catholic region. So actually, what we really should be doing is proselytizing in our capital, and we're gonna go and suppress revolts in Soria. So now, if we look at that map, it's completely green. So there's no chance of them rising up to screw us. That's good. Okay, thank you for watching. This was a lot of fun. Maybe. The, oh, our stash changed. Okay, maybe the Kassid dynasty can rise to prominence in the world. And our Basque heritage will give us strength. And maybe, maybe we can form the, uh, the Roman Empire through a super secret means as a Muslim. Okay, thank you for watching.